just leave the stuff out that you don't want. This and this and this is very important. Oh wait, I'm not going to use passives. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit more harder than the first time I did my first Asian board. to replenish my my church using berry drinks if you don't if you have if you want if you don't want to spend berry drinks and it's already the reset time you always have as you may know flash of water you can use that too let's go ahead actually and do that this drop it anywhere if you want to carry them home Okay, I always leave the loot, um, the resources that I'm going to use against Asian board in this body. I'm going to bring two of this, one of this. You need around 2.5 to 3 claymores, but they never come full dura durability, so you have to eyeball this out. You have to make a guess looking at them. I'm going to take the three best ones. And I hope I'm right. <laughs> I'm going to show you... I'm going to use the T5 armor. I'm going to bring three different... Shields. Three traps for Jaron. You should use traps until you get... Unstoppable. Level 8. I really recommend that you... If you don't have this... Unstoppable level 8, you should use the, the traps to be safe, or you can work your way out to any strategy and make it your way. But Jaron is the most, is, is even more dangerous in a way than Aizen because he does more damage than him when he's furious and he also stunned you. It's crazy as it sounds. Bandage, you would. Bandage. Uh, thanks, Google. Finally, I know how to pronounce it right. See why? Obviously, this. Traps here. I'm going to show a technique to to use the bow against Golun. And that's it. Just in case, I'm going to take this too. We go to the third level. If you want to go fast to the final chest of the second floor, that's the reason you open up the third level, even if you weren't going to Eisenburg. So you can go to the second level, and you appear on the final chest already. Like this. That's for later. We have a nation board to kill, and hopefully, I'm not going to die. This is a tutorial, not anything else. I <laughs> hopefully. I'm going to use the in-game music. You may feel nervous. That's totally okay. I still get nervous. Um, wait, 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 I did something wrong, I forgot to unequip anything that will give me an advantage, so I'm going to unequip this, oops, what? this and this. These two are not have no relevance. Obviously, this doesn't. This and this. So now we are ready to go to Eisenburg. The strategy is you keep attacking until you see that he rises 
ask for a great cliff or this match. Every time he attacks you, you tap in the band bandage or bandages. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Bandage. Every single time. Run fast to the left side and start attacking. You heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Keep healing up. Keep healing up. See? Just like that. You can keep using your bandages or bandage to kill um, a Taurus. Or you can use food, that's up to you. If you use food, you have to wait every time because obviously it takes 7 seconds to fully heal you. When he gets furious, all of them get furious. They are going to do double damage. Like that. So you have to hit, run back, heal, attack and repeat until death. And you will always strike first at the last hit. Now, I'm going to use this shield so you can see the difference in damage. Equip back your bandage. Heal up. Look at the axe. Okay. He hasn't done any of his special attacks yet. This is what happens with Galoons. When you attack him, the first time, he rises up his shield. So you can use a bow to put it down with two strikes. Now the shield is down. Oops. And you can attack him freely again. What I do is put the shield on the bitter tinctures. You can hit him four times before he rises up again his shield. So there's one, two, three, four. His shield is up. Tap into the bow two times and you can attack again. Tap into the bow. Oops, I think I I did it wrong anyways, but that's one. Sometimes I don't remember if it's three or four. I counted four. His shield is up. Now that he's down, finish him. Obviously being careful. Try to run around as much as possible, like you hit twice or try or three times and then you run away. Because if Ace if Asin catch catch you with his special attack, you are done. Oops, 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 oops. Alright. After Golun comes out. Ace and can't start throwing his waves at you. That's why you have to use half the bitter tinctures. It is easier said than done, but you will see. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. I'm going to use a different shield so you see the difference in damage. Heal up. Heal up. And the buckler. See, it's not a big of a difference. Dusky Dur, I'm going to use Honey with him because he's poison stacks. Ah. 
too. You have to be very careful with Gidur because his poison damage d does 10 regardless of armor. You see, if I if I didn't have used these honeys, I will be dead by now. Obviously. Let's keep using the, the wooden shield. Light shield. That's a great cliff. You have to run back. Heal. Heal. Run back. Heal. That's the way. Oops, and I died. That's what happens when you don't you are not fast enough with the bitter tinctures. This is a tutorial, but at the same time it's good that those two things happen so you see what not to do. <clears throat> when you die you pretty much have to come back with some sort of good armor. In this case, I should have well better tinctures. And try again. I wasn't expecting to die, but I'm not ashamed of it because I got distracted by talking. I'm not putting up excuses, but it is different when you're trying to explain explain so much and you get distracted and stuff like that happen. When I'm only concentrated on my gaming, I react more faster. You can see me killing Asenberg with le way less defense flawlessly with 240 defense. Take as much time as you have to take to put the stuff together in your bag so you feel comfortable. Put the, this this armor up. Obviously, you ain't gonna use it. Go to the corner corner like this. Drag him here, then walk away to get more time. Also, this is very very important. I almost forgot it. <laughs> This is the exact time that you have to put the traps on the floor for the for Jaron. This dude here. Look at this. Oh my god. It's very dangerous. So you put the traps in a way that it is easy for 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 you to kite him or to drag him to the traps. In this case I'm going to put it here. Very narrow place to, to walk. Very hard to evade the trap. Not just anywhere. I'd never recommend that you go to this hallway because these skeletons can get you trapped. And it's a bit awkward to get out of the of that place. And you need three of them. I'm going to put the other one. Let's drag Asen. The only Templar that you need traps for is Jaron. No one else. This is a bit dangerous. All right. In Dutch. And keep attacking him until Jarns comes out. Look at this. See, with three better tinctures, you can tank off the the waves. Here comes Jaron. Don't drag him to the to the trap if he's too close to Asenborg. 
Let's use this this one first. Oops, that didn't work out as I expect. Um, okay, drag him to this one. One, two, three, four. Go away. This one. One, two, three, is dead. No, you are dead. Not me, puñeta. Okay, so you saw just how art work it can be to drag Jaron to the traps. You have to be very careful. Put the traps on narrow places like here. So you can have an easier time dragging him. Even then, you see that I didn't need this trap. And it was a bit hard to to drag him to the to the trap. So take your time, don't panic, and just keep walking. If you have to run and run and run until you finally get it. Now let's finish Asenborg. You should go back to the to the back of him like that. If you can, with practice, you can do that. You evade the first wave and you attack him three times on the back. Two. Oops. This is food. You can see those three claimers were more than enough. And there you go. To be honest, it was a little bit harder than using less defense because I use a different strategy. They always drop the, their loot. You can check it out. That's pretty much all that there is to it. Don't worry if you die two or three times or four. It's, it is important that if you die, you come back with armor and healing items like this ones. So you can be safe until you can get your stuff back. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye.